I say? Help me, Seth. Seth. Kidding. So the boat hasn't started moving. Hey guys, so we had the privilege in August to go up to the Arctic and meet an Inuit community that is fighting to stop seismic blasting in their community. We made a documentary while we were there and in the description there's a link to watch it as well as to sign the petition. But tomorrow we're going to Ottawa to actually protest and stand with them because the Supreme Court hearing is tomorrow. But for this vlog we had a bunch of other footage that we had lying around that we wanted to share with you about our experience going to the Arctic, seeing polar bears, and a bit of behind the scenes of what happened during that documentary making process. It's 4.30 in the morning, and we're about to go to the Arctic. Made it! It's colder How was the ride? Oh yeah, it's a lot colder. I can't move, I feel like it's Maggie from The Simpsons. <laughs> like, actually. This is where they used to put all the seals, because this was a sealing ship. And like we're just in the seal fridge right now going to bed. Ugh, um, the Instagram failed. Oh no. Okay, well, good night. <laughs> we're about to head off to San Ford Fjord, not Rob Ford Fjord, which I keep calling it. Um, there's gonna be no internet, so we won't upload this video there. Feel sick. Hey, man, it's been five minutes. We haven't even left. We barely left the port. <laughs> So that's a patch of ice right there, and this is an ice breaking boat, which is part of the reason why it's so tippy. But we're about to crash through some ice. Bring it. I know, it's also just like, where are we? Iceberg right ahead. Oh my god. My aesthetic is the Arctic. <laughs> oh my god. Trying to get the best shot. <laughs> Mitch, what's happening? Oh We're just getting closer and closer to the polar bear. <laughs> it's a huge polar bear, and it's, and it's like, like really far away, and I can fully see it. With it's my fully, eyes. it's like Ooh, I it's wish like, we could film it, but it's pretty far away. You want to make a selfie with polar bear? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. Beautiful <gasps> sky, it's just so there. sunny. But then, uh, 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 we're heading towards Mordor. We found a beautiful waterfall. <laughs> To the northern store. This is the only place where you can buy food, groceries in Clyde River. It obviously has a monopoly. It's the only place where there's a bank machine as well. And when you go in, you'll see the price of an avocado. You'll see the price of a roll of toilet paper. This is it all a has very to get shipped in, right? Shipped in or aired in. Um, the shipment isn't coming until a couple weeks from now. So right now, they've decided to raise their prices. To the highest. Oh, wow. So you will be shocked when you wow. see how much stuff costs him. This pepper is $15.99. I don't even know if it's a per pound or per pepper. Not Which that many options and in terms of where they can't even. So I'm curious what company this is. Well, it's called Northern, but like who owns Northern? Yeah, because like, I don't know, it just seems very unfair. You're going to try Narwhal for the first time? So like this? Yeah, mm -hmm. okay. Can I just have this? <laughs> Oh, it's oh, it's warm. It's been boiled. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they just cook it. Hmm. And that's pretty good. But that's even more flavor. That one's raw. Yeah. So this isn't cooked. Yeah, you can try that. Like that more beef. But it's really cute. Mm hmm. And soy sauce. <laughs> Which one do you like more? Depends on the day. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. It's good. Yeah. What's it taste like? Hard, like seafood. <laughs> yeah. No, it feels like a chewy muscle or a tent. Yeah. <laughs> it's good. good. Yeah, we're just learning about how these people need to ensure that they can hunt and get food for their community. And when they do get food, they put it over the radio and everyone comes together and eats the narwhal, eats the seal. It's, it's just, it's a human rights issue. Canada. Yeah. As much as everyone here is amazing and beautiful and so kind and warm, it is also still just like, troubling to see that and hear from people talk about how much they have to struggle. So yeah, I just think it is so important that 
people in Canada and around the world think about this and are aware of it. And, and every day we should be thinking about the privilege that we have and the privilege that was taken from these people mm -hmm. because they lived here before any of us did. And this isn't the way of life that they chose. And so therefore I think it's mm. our right to f make sure that they are safe and afford the privileges that we yeah. are. And in a country like this, you often think like, oh, well, it's underdeveloped countries where people suffer, but we live in like a really financially stable country, and yet they are suffering, and that's where you see like the injustice of it all. Like, yeah. It's like indigenous or aboriginal people all around the world suffer, even when they live in extremely developed nations, so. This apparently is Arctic cotton. I forget they said in the UK it's called something else. Like, yeah, somewhere in Scotland. Um, or it might just be cotton here because this is the Arctic. <laughs> um, but apparently they use it to like start fires and stuff and to stuff pillows and so they have multi-use for it. But I've never seen this before in my life but it looks like a really intense dandelion to me. <laughs> but make a wish. <laughs> How do you count one, two, three? That's a five? Yeah. Okay. Oh god. I already forgot them all. Yeah, you do it. You do it. Okay. What's one? Atosu. 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 Tilk. Tilk. Atosu. Atosu. Makro. Makro. Pingasu. Pingasu. Tisama. Tisama. Tadima. Tadima. Yeah. <laughs> Rock me, mama, like an ace of science with <laughs> Rock me, mama, like to rock the boat. Too short. I wish we could stay longer, but it was amazing. It feels like we've been here for like a couple weeks, to be honest. But I don't want to leave. No. Everyone's so amazing, so interesting. We've learned so much about our own country. And I think hopefully we're going to take this knowledge and go back and create amazing videos and continue to educate people about what's going on because living in a city you don't think about these things. I want to introduce you to our new activist friends. Hello! Emma. Hello! And how, what's been awesome on this trip for you? You! Oh, oh, oh my god, warming our hearts! <laughs> you were awesome to ask you, you're both so I'm great. I'm so creepy. <laughs> yeah. What now. is your favorite part of living on ships? It's like your normal thing to do. <laughs> I like sleeping at night to be rocked. Rocked. <laughs> what about you? I love the sensation of having to basically maneuver my body into positions I've never got in before to get into bed. Oh, okay. you know, like having to do some kind yeah, of rock climbing like kind of like getting up like, you're like, like, oh yeah, my like, god, wait. And consistent <laughs> core workouts and just swaying. Consistent yeah. core workouts yeah. and just everybody on board. <laughs> We're coming out. Sign the petition. Yes. Sign, sign the petition. Sign the petition. Get on line. Yes. yes. Save yeah. the Arctic. <laughs> Hashtag don't. I'm so old I don't know what I'm talking about. Anyway, save it. <laughs>